vaping was hailed as a new way to quit smoking. Instead, it's become a craze among young people. It's no wonder this product appealed to young people so much. It was designed for them, it was marketed to them, and it was available to them. You are inhaling a cocktail of chemicals, particularly the flavouring chemicals, that we have no idea what the long-term consequences of that are going to be. The right to sell nicotine vapes in Australia has been hotly contested. And there are some familiar backers. How involved is Big Tobacco in the vaping industry? Big Tobacco's in the thick of it. The tobacco industry lobbies and they lobby hard. You have to be willing to, uh, to stare them down. You say Big Tobacco. What is Big Tobacco? Divine Big Tobacco. If they are trying to move away from cigarettes into a product that is better for people, that gets people off cigarettes, I, I don't have a problem with that. What's not in dispute is this booming market has been pushed underground. It's a de facto prohibition. Every month, millions of illicit, unregulated vapes are imported into Australia. Cheap disposable vapes are pouring in from factories in China, sold here by local dealers to convenience stores and tobacconists as part of the illicit trade. We'll show you the thriving black market of e-cigarettes, fueled by a failure to police the rules. And we investigate the fierce battle over the harms of vaping. It's a mess that's threatening to hook a new generation on nicotine. Available now on Video On Demand.